Hi and welcome. Are you from the telco space trying to navigate the open source and cloud native landscape? Or maybe you're from the cloud native community trying to reach out to those in the telco space. We're going to take a look at CNCF's telecom initiatives, how it's trying to bridge those gaps and help telecom service providers on their journey to being more cloud native. I'm Taylor Carpenter, an owner in the software cooperative Vault Co-op based out of Austin, Texas. I've been an open source advocate and Linux user since the mid 90s, doing telephony development since the early 2000s and helping CNCF since 2017. Dan Kahn spearheaded these telecom initiatives. He's the VP of strategic programs for CNCF and the general manager of Linux Foundation Public Health. After the introduction, we'll go through some of the guiding principles more in depth for each one of the initiatives, talk about how you can get involved, and then we'll have an interactive Q&A and discussion. Feel free to add your questions and comments now for the Q&A. We'll get to those during that portion. We'll be available to chat more after the session on CNCF Slack, and you can find these slides available on Sketch. The CNCF community has continued to rapidly grow with new projects, members, and end users. As organizations around the world continue to adopt cloud native technologies, these organizations are seeking to gain the benefits that others are already experiencing with cost savings in CapEx and OpEx, as well as improvements in availability, resiliency for their platforms and application workloads alike as well as higher development velocity in both. There's a large number of technology choices available along with these cloud native methodologies that telcos can benefit from and choose from. And CNCF's imperative is to help telcos navigate this vast landscape and assist service providers in obtaining the benefits touted by all these cloud native technologies. So it's created three telecom initiatives, the telecom user group, the CNF testbed, and CNF conformance. The telecom user group is a collaborative space that welcomes service providers, vendors, and telecom developers to come together, share ideas, ask questions, voice their needs and concerns, come up with best practices and requirements found within the cloud native community, write up requirements from the telecom domain. The CNF testbed is a open source platform, tool chain, and set of examples to help review the cloud native te technologies, reproduce test results, create new reference examples. And the CNF conformance is a test suite to validate the telecom applications or cloud native network functions, as well as the underlying platforms and it, uh, infrastructures adherence to cloud native principles. All of these initiatives share guiding ideals, starting with the cloud native principles themselves, including all the fundamental concepts that you'll find underneath those service discovery, loose coupling, immutable infrastructure. These principles build on existing methodologies and practices such as those found in DevOps, service-based architecture, agile software development, and even Unix philosophy. We also care deeply about community collaboration. So we engage and work with communities found within LFN, other parts of Linux Foundation, of course, CNCF itself and Kubernetes initiatives and groups, and those outside like ORAN and the Open Air Initiative Software Alliance, different providers like Equinix, AWS. We also work with telecom service providers directly and the developers of the different solutions. Within the telecom user group, we invite all of these different users and communities to come in, share their ideas, look at technology that's been presented at the different meetings, 
voice the different concerns. We've created a cloud native thinking for telecommunication white papers that looks at the aspirations for the telecommunication industry, what they could see as they adopt more and more in cloud native. We contribute to a larger set of cloud native networking papers that we'll talk about more later. With the CNF Conformance Initiative, there's shared efforts around identifying and maintaining cloud native requirements for those applications, platforms, definitions like what is a CNF and what does it mean to be compliant to a CNF Conformance Program. We have many different members, including service providers like AT&T and Charter, Verizon, Bell Canada, and vendors like Nokia, Juniper, and as well as projects and communities from different organizations. We welcome your participation. It meets on the first Mondays of the month with alternating times. The next one being December 7th at 1500 UTC. We also have a mailing list which you can join. You can view the last recordings and you can view the different efforts we put at um, other conferences like the Open Network and Edge Summit where we brought in six CNCF projects that did presentations on how those technologies can be used to solve telco and edge problems with their solutions. You can see those in LF's playlist there. The CNF testbed is an open source set of software and frameworks for reviewing these emerging cloud native technologies within the telecom domain. It's focused on being reproducible for its platform, all of its use cases, and the technology that it's trying to review. It works out of the box on Equinix's um, bare metal on-demand hardware. As an innovation review tool, it's focused on supporting different technology options, trying to keep things as uncomplicated as is reasonable so that you can go in and understand the different components we can plug in different options. We try to use upstream tooling like Cube Spray and NFE Bench so that if you understand those, then you can understand them here. And we can also contribute back to those communities. The examples go from very minimal ones so that you can understand a part at a simple stage all the way through service chaining of different type of applications in the telecom and different use cases you may see. We try to focus, uh, bring focus to anything that is doing well, as well as those that we think there may be gaps in. To be reproducible, we try to follow those cloud native principles on all levels. So that means immutable hardware, configuration for the underlying physical machines, as well as the underlying network. All of that saved in configuration within the testbed itself. The provisioning and bootstrapping is repeatable in automation if desired. And we try to use as many inbound or Kubernetes native components as possible. We also expose and show how we can do integration with um, providers like Equinix for provisioning the hardware and network infrastructure. And all those different layers, we try to keep loosely coupled so that we can plug in different things and you can understand how they fit together. There's a lot of documentation over the examples, how the different layers work, and all the configuration, again, is open and available in the repository itself. We have contributions from many different projects and communities, different vendors such as Red Hat, Samsung, VMware, um, Network Service Mesh from CNCF, FDIO from the LFN communities. We'd love to have your participation. You can come and access any of the source code, documentation configuration on the uh, repository on GitHub. And if you have an API key from Equinix, you can deploy the testbed itself. And then if you package up any of your applications, you can run those right on an instance of the testbed. We'd love to see uh, any results or feedback on what you found. And if you'd like to contribute directly, we would be happy to see new issues or pull requests 
improving the tool chain, adding new examples um, or tests that you like. The CNF Conformance Initiative has a focus on testing the applications and uh, the underlying platforms for telecoms. And by applications, we're usually thinking cloud native network functions. And these are used within the workloads on telecoms. And it tries to provide visibility on how well they're following cloud native principles and Kubernetes native type of best practices and principles. It's based on the concepts from the Kubernetes conformance initiatives and the Sonoboy project. So the Kubernetes conformance is um, concerned with interoperability with the core Kubernetes. And we look from the platform side on what are best practices that encourage interoperability and usability from beyond the, the base core platform. So all the add-ons and extensions provisioning down below Kubernetes that could um, look into other ways of, of provisioning the hardware. And then at the workload itself, those applications. And we take the concepts um, from Sonoboy on how it makes it easier to run E to E tests. And we've developed a suite that, that focuses on the usability there and exposing what we are looking at for conformance. Again, back to the slides earlier where we talked about working with the telecom user group and, and taking feedback. It's now been integrated with the LFNs, what was called the CNTT initiative, where service providers and vendors are coming together to build a reference architecture and doing testing. It's now running within the LFNs OPNFE Funk Test framework for running different test suites to test some of the workloads. We plan on adding platform testing, continuing to add more support for CNFs, which those service providers and vendors care about. We cover many different test categories within CNF conformance, um, going from the configuration lifecycle hardware for provisioning and other items, how you use the hardware, how you handle data and state, looking at security, resilience. This is for platform and workload test both. We do split those up. So we have workload tests themselves that are split up and you can see they go into the different categories for microservice, scalability, a lot in configuration right now. Resilience, this is a snapshot. There's many more tests that are coming, um, lots of ideas. And then in platform, we have the similar sets where we have the different categories and you can see um, scalability, security, and if, if you were looking at workload, there's many on chaos. We do those on both the workload and infrastructure platform side. These, the requirements behind the tests that we're covering and the tests uh, themselves, those ideas, they come from many different places. We go back and look at what is the Kubernetes and CNCF doing for best practices? What do we want to cover there? What are the type of things that telecom service providers and developers are needing and wanting? What are those type of business underlying business requirement and the technology that they're looking at, at covering? The CNTT community has a large set of requirements. And then we lean into the cloud native principles themselves. We do this and try to meet those, those end user needs um, by sorting through and building up the requirements and then prioritizing those tests. If you'd like to use the CNF conformance test suite, we have an extensive set of documentation starting from quick start type guides all the way through source-based installation covering different requirements. And then we have usage instructions that go from running the entire suite all the way through running individual tests. You can turn on debugging at different levels or get down to just a set of results, which we see here. When we're running a, the workload test, when you pass the workload command, you could see a set of uh, tests on your console with the different past failures. And then at the end, you'll have a final score with all of the test results saved into a YAML file. 
which you can consume or read directly. We have a lot of contributors right now uh, from different communities and projects, but we would love to see more. If you'd like to participate, we have a contributing guide. Um, this again is all open source, the configuration, the software to use it. We use a lot of upstream tooling. So if you're familiar with any of the different security um, testing, chaos testing, you can come and contribute. If you just have ideas or requirements, we'd love to see those. You can open pull requests or open new issues. For all of these CNCF Telecom initiatives, we'd love for you to stay connected. We have regular meetings. On the technical side, we have a Thursday meeting for the CNF Conformance and Testbed meeting at 1415 UTC every Thursday. The Telecom User Group again meets on the first Mondays with alternating times. The next one is on December 7th. There's also a cross community CNF requirements meeting that's currently meeting on Tuesdays at 1600 UTC. We're on CNCF Slack uh, for the conformance test bed and the Telecom User Group. There's a Telecom User Group mailing list. We're also available on Twitter and GitHub. These slides are available on Sketch. We'll be available on Slack again to continue after this session. We welcome your feedback on this presentation, but especially on CNCF's telecom initiatives on how we can help on your journey to being more cloud native. We're gonna go into the Q&A session now. I thank y'all all for your participation and I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much.